Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith, the Silly Balloon Mom. Today, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about balloons. This is a balloon animal balloon, but before it became a balloon animal, it used to be sticky tree sap. It probably looks something very much like white glue. Look at it ooze. Mm. That's what your balloon is. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but balloons are organic. They will slowly decompose back into the mushy tree goo that they once were. Now, it's not water soluble. You don't want to eat your balloon, but it's going to take about four years for that latex. That's the fancy name that they call the balloon. Latex. It's going to take four years for it to decay at the same time it takes for this leaf to turn back into dirt. That's how long it's going to take this balloon to turn back into tree sap, but it will. So if you have tried balloon twisting and all your balloons pop or they feel soft or when you blow them up, you inflate them and they smell funny, it could be because you have some old balloons. So get a good bag of balloons. I like to use Qualitex. Now, once you have your good balloon, you can take your hand pump. There's the tip. You want to slide the nozzle onto the tip and then pinch. And while pinching, you pull it out and in, out and in, out and in. That will inflate your balloon. But some of you have a problem tying a balloon. Sometimes when you go to tie the balloon, it won't go around the fingers, it's really tight. The way to get around that is you pinch and you twist one, two, three, to get that section and then pinch it and then I let go of this end, and now I have a nice long neck to tie with. The way I tie the balloon is I go around two or three fingers to the back end, and I go to the middle, and I stick it out, kind of like a, a snake sticking out its tongue, like that. And then I pull, and now your balloon is tied. Now to twist your balloon, it's as simple as this. Make sure you have a tail. All balloons should have a nozzle or a neck and a tail. The length of the tail is determined by how many times you're planning to twist your balloon. So we're going to make a simple three twist balloon dog. You take your hand, you measure the nozzle right there at the bottom of your wrist, and you fold it so it's smaller than your fingers. And then Go to the halfway point, you pinch. After you pinch, you take this loop and you twist it three times. One, two, three. And there is the head of your balloon dog. Now we're gonna take our hand again, put it where that joint is, bend it down, again, smaller than your fingers. Pinch it at the halfway point, pinch. And now we're gonna twist three times. One, two, three. Now, this needs a little adjusting. I twist that around. We have the head and the front legs of our dog. We're going to do the back legs now. Take your hand. Line your hand up with the base there. Bend it down so it's just smaller than your fingers, but not too small. That way too small. So right where your fingers are, perfect. Find the middle point. Pinch it and twist. One, two, three. And my wonderful people, we have a little balloon dog. Woof, 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 woof. Balloon dogs rule. Well, thanks for tuning in to Mrs. Smith's Balloon Channel. We're going to have some more lessons on how fun balloons are in just a little bit. Goodbye.